Hello everyone, this is probably one of the first videos you will actually watch, but it is the next to last thing in the packet going home. So if you're working online, this will be the first thing that you see in your November 30th classroom. Um, but if you're going through your packet, it's one of the last things you'll actually do. Um, this is actually called the Rogue Runner. And it has four different clues to help you solve a problem, uh, like a riddle. But we are not going to actually do the whole riddle. We're just going to go through the clues um, since we're not in class with you guys. So on the first clue, clue one, what is the ratio of triangles to circles in each row? Triangles to circles. So as you can see in their example, there's two triangles to three circles. So anywhere you see two to three, you would put your H just like they did. Okay. Over here, what is the ratio of shoes to caps? Shoes to caps. Shoes, one. to caps two. So anywhere we see one to two, we're gonna put an S. Now remember, one to two is not the same as two to one. You can't flip the numbers. So it's only one to two where you will put your S's. Okay, down at the bottom, we have, what is the ratio of cubes to total shapes? Okay, so let's look at our cubes. One, two, three cubes. Two means colon, total shapes. One, two, three, four, five total shapes. Okay, so anywhere you see three to five up top, you're going to put an I. Three to five. 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 I think that's it. Okay. And down here again, the ratio of circles to total shapes. Circles, one, two. Two, colon, total shapes. One, two, three, four. Two, two, four. So you're going to put a U where you see two to four. There's one. I think that's it. And we have a U. Okay. So you'll do the rest just like I did those. So that's clue number one. Clue number two is unit rates. It tells you at the top. Up here, we're working on unit rates with this one, okay? So, remember, unit rates are, unit is one, right? So, if we have 12 chairs in two rows, they want to know how many chairs per row. In one row, how many chairs would there be, okay? So, you divide 12 divided by 2 equals 6. That's where the 6 came from. And um, they didn't put the U, so we will put the U where we see the number 6 and the number 6. Okay. 20 push-ups in two days. How many push-ups per day? 20 divided by Oops, divided by 2 equals 10. So 
10 push-ups per day. So, bring that to zero. It's actually an O, an O, and an O, and an O. Okay, so you're going to do that all the way down. Divide cookies per hour. Now look at this one. We want bottles per box. So you're going to divide bottles divided by boxes. Okay. Divide cookies divided by hours. Push-ups divided by days. Muffins divided by trays. Okay. Look at what your unit rate is to know which number comes first in the division problem. Okay. Hope that helps with clue number two. Clue number three, we're reducing ratios. Your favorite, simplifying fractions. Yay, our favorite. So as you can see, this one was pretty easy because you just have to take off the zeros or divide by 10. Same thing to get six to one. Um, let's look at the next one. 4 to 40 to 20, you can drop the zeros, and you have 4 to 2. Both of those have a greatest common factor, however, of 2. So you're going to divide by 2, divide by 2, or you're basically dividing both numbers by 20. 40 divided by 20 is 2. two div or 20 divided by 20 is 1. So your ratio would be 2 to 1 simplified. 40 20th is the same as 2 to 1, which would make sense. For every 120, you have two 40s. For every, you have 120 and 20, you have two 20s, 20 plus 20, to get 40. And then, because remember, we always check for reasonableness of our answers. So anywhere we see 2 to 1, we're going to put an N. So there's an N. That's it. That's all she wrote. Okay. Um, both end in 5, so that would be a good starting point. Both end in zeros, that would be a good starting point. Um, this one, we're not as familiar with those numbers. But a little trick, 7 is prime, right? So it's obviously can only be divided by 1 in itself. So if you do 84 divided by 7, you get 12. So that's 12 to 1, because 7 divided by 7, of course, is 1. Um... So you'll just find the greatest common factor of your numbers and divide them. Okay. This one's probably going to be the hardest one for you, but we definitely need the practice. So I'm not going to do as much. It's just like simplifying fractions. Okay. I'll go ahead and put my B's up top for 12 to 1. And it's also helpful that you kind of at least have some idea of what your answer is going to be because of what's on top, right? So that will help you to see if you're on the right path and if you've got it as small as it will go. All right, and the last clue, yes, we skipped clue, we skipped clue number four and we go to clue number five, which is um, more equivalent ratios. Um, but instead of simplifying, we're going bigger. So it says 10 to 30 equals 100 to what? So um, I would probably do this one on a different sheet of paper um, just because of the way I need to see it. So we have 10 to 30 is the same as 100 to what? So remember, like we've done before, you're going to multiply because we're getting bigger. You have to multiply the top and the bottom by the same number 
10 times what equals 100? If you don't know, instead of multiplying, you would divide. 100 divided by 10 would be 10. So 10 times 10 equals 100, 30 times 10 equals 300. That's where their 300 comes from. Okay, I'll go down because that's what we can see. So the next one is 2 to 3. Oh, hold on. i got to write it this way. 2 to 3 is the same as 10 to what? Again, 2 times something equals 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So that would be 5. If you do the, what you do to the top, you must do to the bottom the same thing. 3 times 5 is 15. So in your box, you're going to say... 2 to 3 is equal to 10 to 5, to 15. 10 to 15. So wherever you see your 15s, you're going to put an E. Okay, I'll do one more because this is getting smaller. 12 to 15 equals 4 to what? Well, how do you get from 12 to 4? Well, we're getting smaller, which means we're going to have to divide, right? Here we were getting bigger, so we multiplied. Here we're getting smaller, so we divide. So then you can... 12 divided by what equals 4? If you don't know, you can do 12 divided by 4, and it will give you what's missing. 3. 15 divided by 3 equals 5. So this would be 12 to 15 is the same as 4 to 5. So wherever you see your fives, you're going to put a C. It's the only one I see. Okay, I hope those help. Again, I'm not sure I've said it in this video. I said it, try to say it in all of them. Remember, like on this page, if you can't show your work on the page and you use a scratch page, Please turn in your scratch page with your packet so that we can at least give you um, partial credit. If maybe you don't get the right answer here, but you show your steps, we can find some ways to give you a few points throughout. Okay? Um, or you can do like I did on these pages and do your work on the page. Whatever is easier for you. Just remember, you need to turn in all your work so we can at least give you partial credit. I hope that helps with the Roadrunner.